So, um, firstly, what I tell most people most times is uh, I'm a king. That doesn't stop my private life. Let's say now I'm a private person, I'm working nine to five, definitely I should have my private time to enjoy myself with my friends and, and family. Is there anything in my responsibility as a king that I'm not doing? And they said no. So if I'm able to fulfill the responsibility of my office, I think I can do whatever I think to gain my own happiness. Hmm, welcome. Olo is a peanut. Ele gushi. She goes up here in my ponju. The young man more. A yellow came by on a lady. Go by on a limo. Go do joy conily co yeri. She be for better for worse. You won't pay be a woe. She only be be. You go if you funny. Olo in any laughing. Laughing over. E de yin bobo bobo koton shele. Lori oro li an. A bo pe e ti kou lafin. E wala brod. E konfon. I le karo jiri. Ni wo je. Lo jujumon. Whether the allegation is true. Or false. O ba o adresse. E yin olori lafin no. E dake e soro si. O re yede yin jan wan yin wan yin wan yin wan yin wan yin. Revelation came from God. Oba to man ki lo founi. Koto ba yon ja. Oba to man ja. Ti o ki yon je bi. Lotun. Ari o lo si. Ifun ki allegation yon ko je iro. Ate yon. Ati oba. Right yon. Bosi ta publicly. La ti address se. Ko yon she petition to ban kon se. Ni to li beshe yon ko petition yon. Le mou yon nou bi yon yon si. Gon na those days. Ni bobo yon shi yon. Aye social media la wansin. Ti e ba shora. E ma non nato strategi. Because a wun yon gong. Wun re di la te femi o ta wun si le. Lori yoro mobad. Ko yi she tori mobad yin kon. E wani nou lu. Wun fi yi joba. Peri tri yin yin kon yeti shele. Olo wun tu ben yon dide. La ti yu sin yin yin bere ek bako. Pe ke she ato she. Koto di po eskalete to to yi. E wo pe talon soro. E e shen kwa konsi. Oro yen wa eskalit. E wa wo pe akbara ye. To wa lo wo yin yen nou. Le fe lu. She akbara to wa lo wo yin kabi e si. Oba yi le gushi. She o to akbara oba to de mi anti yin. She e mo bo she lo yun yin. She e mo bo be she da ye. O nje te nje. She e mo bi to lo. To di mo ti nbi yin na wo question zi yi. Tikpe tikpe. E wa wo pe akbara to wa lo wo yin. To lo mba fe mes yin op. To ba fè disgrace si yin. E e kontinu la ti shen kote en shen yin. Ni to li pe e yon foun ori yi ten yen yon wodje. To ba yon sofi yon pe ke lò ma arrest ya yon yout. Si yon soro yin Nigeria. La yon shek pe e bosi ta. E adres yon lò yin. E kli a ra yin. Te ba kli a ra yin pe e mi koni mouni li a mou. Iri a joba yon lò pe mi anti wun mi po ou. Mi o mou wun mi ri ou. Be e shek dina yin. Yon samilari. Te bosi ta. Kwi kwi kwi. Fast, fast. Lati de bon ke. Pe e e mori. Be yen nou lo che yeke jade yin sen. Kon yin che petition te yin kon yin. A wun wun Nigerian si ti kon jade bo bo yin. You see, it took a while before by le gu she addressed the allegation. Or let us say the fingers that were pointed at him. And this has to do with that baby called Liam. He responded via the legal route. He petitioned certain people saying that they are defaming his character and that uh, this, is a, this is a slap and spite against the stool that he is sitting on, the stool of his ancestors. I always tell you that Obeleguchi is rich. Mm, Obeleguchi is a rich king. It's not like a king scrambling on the floor here and there. He used to be active in government back then. Um, he used to work as an advisor, I think, 
for the then governor of Lagos State and also now president of Nigeria, Tinumbu. He had his political ambition right in front of him. But when the call to become king came, he had to bow and wear the crown. Now, with so many allegations bordering on being the father, paternity, or what happened to Mubad, there are people behind the scene working all this justice for Mubad and many other insinuations came up. The king didn't do nothing. The only time the king responded through his, his uh, media representative, and I think, uh, yeah, the office of the king, the media representative of the office of the king, they responded when Sam Larry came up, the bullying, the video and all of that. They said, no, this guy does not have anything to do with us. He's not a member of our family. If he was a member of the family, he would have said, no, I'm a member of the family. I am this, I am related to that, blah, blah, blah. They said, no, he has nothing to do with our family. He's not an illegushi. He's just one of those that uh, take toll at the beach. He's one of the tax collector at the beach, illegushi beach and environ. That's what he is. Now, the link to the son of Wumi came up after a while and he stuck to the king. The king didn't say nothing and it got a lot of people worried. They said, king, this, this allegation is too humongous. This is too big. Um, you have to address this ASAP and put an end to this trash before it goes viral. You have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. ASAP, the same way you dealt with uh, the Sam Larry of a thing. You have to deal with this one. You have to deal with it. You as king, you don't need to address the press. No. You can as well do this via your media aid. In, maybe in the publication, in any of the dailies, newspaper, or your, your, through, through blog. Anyhow, you can just you know say, hey, the king or the palace, the royal family, or whatever way you want to address it, this and that and this and that, we have cleared this and that and that, this continuous defamation of the palace will not be tolerated, and people will take off their attention from that particular region. But the king did not. So this kept on and on. People started digging deep. They started connecting dots together. And here we are today. Now, the wife of the king, Olori Sekinot, is said to have left the palace. Yes, she is said to have left the palace palace as a result of this Wumi, Liam, and Obele Gushi. Yes, she left the palace and people said, oh, queen, is this the only thing that you are good for? Like, go to parties, dance, enjoy, dress, take pictures and videos. Is there no other thing that you can do? Um, why did you leave the palace? Because the king is going through Recall that she had an interview with BBC Yoruba. She said, yes, I'm the number one. I am not afraid of being kicked out. I will always remain the number one. The queen, number one. The king loves me. And she kept on encouraging herself that the king has never um, disrespected a number one position. Now, the king is a Muslim. There are Muslims who do not like, I mean, women who do not like this polygamy. But there are some that have no other option. There are some that have embraced it. Prior to this, according to the interview that the Queen Shekina had on BBC Yoruba, she spoke about the many escapades 
of the king before he became king he he, he would often see her off to her own boyfriend's place i mean she's going to visit her boyfriend the king will see her off there and wait outside now the interviewer asked is it that he loves you so much then or he wants you to be in his life so much like he really wanted you in his life that's why he could do that like sacrifice that like, go with you walk you down to your boyfriend's house and all of that is it because he really wanted you in his life what would make a man do that were there other women in his life she said yes he said that he saw me off down there does not mean he doesn't have girlfriends. He had numerous women. I was just one of those that he was interested in. And he's a kind of person, if he wants a woman, he will keep on and on till... So, question was asked again. Why did you not end up marrying him? She said, persistence. And two, the other guy she was dating was not ready to settle. The king, although he wasn't king then, prince was ready to marry, to put the ring in her fingers. And she decided to marry him. So she was asked, so after the marriage, did he stop? Like, no, he didn't stop. Countless women. That is what she said on camera. So it is known, it is a known, it has been established that the king likes women a lot and is willing to do whatever it takes to have women multiple in his life these are the things that people looked back and joined one and one together they said no this king this king sam larry this king wumi lekki transformer they linked it up together and they came up with obele gushi is the one responsible for this and that and that and that. Well, hmm. coupled with Wumi's refusal to get DNA done, Wumi was asked on one of the social media platform and also on call. We've done analysis about that. Do you know Sam Larry? Eh, she started stuttering. Do you know Bele Gushi? Eh, no. Okay. So who is the father of Leah? She started stuttering again. Eh, I told you, you know, you've already confessed to me. Who is the father of Leah? Simple as ABC. And why is there so much protection for you? You're nothing in the society. It's not as if you're parents are high up there in politics so where are you getting this extra favor from that is still the reason why people connected dots together and they came up and don't forget that <laughs> regardless of how secretive you are mm, there will still be people around you spy or people that you must have told one or two things those people are the ones that will give this information out that Wumi said she used to be this and that, part of those that used to go and make the king happy. Well, we care less about who the father of Leah is anyway. What we are concerned about is DNA being done to clear Mubar out of it and also to further establish motive alongside autopsy and toxicology. Justice for Mubad.